come down and see you Please one day real that. soon. Appreciate that. You know, uh, the Everleys uh, went from uh, child stars to teen age uh, heart throbs, I guess you could say. Roxanne Russell discovered a young man backstage at the Opry last weekend who could just sort of head down that same road. Tell us about it, Roxanne. Meet Sherry Worsham and her 12-year-old son, Charlie, junior national banjo champion from Grenada, Mississippi, who has quite a story to tell. And it starts something like this. Once upon a time, when Charlie was just seven years old. I came to Opryland, and at the time, Mike Snyder was doing his show over at Opryland, and I came up wanting a guitar, and when I saw Mike Snyder's show, it made me want a banjo instead, so... I made my mom get me a banjo. I knew we were pretty good, but I didn't know we were inspirational. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> well, I sent Mike Snyder a letter and a tape of me playing in Smithville, and um, he called me back and asked me if I wanted to play on the opera. So here's Charlie. While most 12-year-olds are home playing with their friends, Charlie Worsham is at the Opry, playing with his heroes. In the audience, 67 friends and family members from back home have come to cheer Charlie on. I'm his band director, and he's in our sixth grade band. I've been cutting his hair since he was just a kid. I'm a Sunday school teacher in third grade. Community pride in this 12-year-old is evident. But I had to wonder what specifically did Charlie see or hear in Mike Snyder to shape his young life. The fur coat song. She's really putting on the dog when she goes out at night. Well, he runs over a German Shepherd and makes a fur coat for his wife out of it. And that led you to want to play the banjo? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Charlie, you about six years old then? Six or seven. You know, he got a, his fur coat really got to, it's got six years old going around America. We hot in all fields. <laughs> and while Charlie spent much of the night backstage getting advice from Opry legends on how to work the crowd, it was Mike who put his nerves at rest. Uh, everybody out there is your friend and You'll have your friends all surrounding you on stage, and it don't matter if you mess up. Hey, when you're playing for free, you ain't got to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the time came for Charlie to take the Opry stage. His first time on the Opry. How about a hand for Mr. Charlie Washam? Let her go, pal. Charlie was better than good. Charlie Worsham was fantastic. This is um, a, a dream come true for me. I, ever since I um, even knew about the Grand Ole Opry, I wanted to play on it. And so to finally be here, is, it's incredible. So that's the Charlie Worsham story. But I don't think it's the end of the story. You see, Charlie received a standing ovation the night he played the Grand Ole Opry. <laughs> So I think I'll just call this chapter one. Thanks, Charlie. Appreciate that. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, Charlie is a great picker. I think uh, Roxanne's right. We'll be hearing a lot more about him. There's still a lot of backstage to come, folks, so stay right with us.